Hello, I'm Felipe Nevola and I'm here today to present for you triggers on Galax. Trigger is a way to change your settings, uh, how many containers you're running on the fly. Then if your app is getting a lot of connections, then you can scale up. And if your app is, is like the clients are leaving your, your website or your app, you can scale down. Then you just pay for the containers that you are running. And that's pretty cool because Galaxy just charge you when you are running containers and then you can save a lot of money if your app does not have like connections all the day, then you can just keep like two or three containers just to, to keep high availability, for example, but you don't need to run a lot of containers uh, when your app is not having a lot of access. Then let's see how it works. Like it's simple to set up and I can show you how to do it. Like this is a fake app that's called gel.meteor.com. It's not really an app. It's just like a, an empty app here but you can just play around with this app to, to simulate the triggers. Then I don't have any triggers here. I will create my first trigger and it's just like a fake app. I will put like scale up when you have more than one connection. Then we can scale up very pretty easily. And then I will add containers. I could also have an action to remove containers. Our idea here with triggers and actions is that you can expand this with more actions pretty soon okay uh, i put the minimum as one and the maximum as 10 and the step like how many containers i want to add when the rules are met i will keep in one and then here i can add my rule i have cpu i have memory and i have connections i will choose connections above i can also choose below but it does not make sense here then above one then if i have more than one connection per container i'm going to scale up i could also like restrict this trigger to like not run in the weekends or to just run in specific times in the days but i don't want to do that and the last part that i want to show you is that i can also change it, like how many uh, metrics i'm going to use like we have three series of metrics here this one is getting like metrics every five seconds this one every three minutes and this one every hour but then i can if i use like three minutes and three metrics what i'm doing here i'm looking to the past nine minutes okay because i have three uh, three time stamps for nine minutes in total because each one will cover three minutes if i change to five seconds and then i put here like 10 i am now checking a different like uh, the different timestamps in the past. Uh, for this example, I'll put just four, then I will get like five uh, metrics, uh, four, sorry, four metrics, each one five seconds from each other, then I will be looking to the past like 20 seconds. Then it will be easier for us to try to reproduce these connections in our containers. And I can also choose like how many seconds Meteor uh, Galaxy will wait to check again. Then I put 60, then we will check every minute. And then I will save my trigger. Uh, okay, my trigger is here. Scale up when more than one connection. Right now, I think we don't have any connection. Oh, we have one connection because I opened this tab here. Uh, if you look to the trigger, we have a special section here that call logs and the logs are pretty nice because you can learn what's happening then you can see oh okay my trigger did not like executed because it was a little bit slow, uh, lower the percentage or the connection and maybe you want to adjust then i will okay we have our first one then we don't have any rules that are matching then the our app is not scaling up if you see here, it's not scaling, scaling up. Then we have, because our lowest connection is one and one is not about, above one. Then of course it's not scaling up, but you can just open more tabs here. And now we will have two connections, probably in a few milliseconds here. And just for curiosity, like if you, if you think about like the five seconds, then three minutes and the one hour, these numbers are the same, the exactly same from these charts here. Then these graphs, they are using the same series. 
When you click five minutes, you see numbers for every five seconds. When you click one hour, you see numbers for every three minutes. Then it's the same number that you see here that the triggers are using. And that's pretty cool because you can really understand what's going on and you can really use these graphs to make decisions about your triggers. And <laughs> what you're talking like our trigger was fired because now we have two connections and you can check in a moment and our new container is, is starting. But let's see if that was exactly what happened here. Let's refresh. Okay, then we have it here that it was really executed in the second run because our lowest connection was two and then it's above the one that you set in the rules here. And then it's really working. Do you see like in one minute, two minutes, we are ready to scale up. And of course, this is going to scale up all the time because it's just using this low boundary. And another trick here that I want to show you, if you want to test your metric like right away because you are waiting like 60 seconds, it's going to be fast, but maybe you have like a bigger interval here. You can also uh, save the, the trigger. Every time you save the trigger, Galaxy is going to, to check it again in less than one minute because Galaxy check the triggers every one minute. And when you save, we put in the queue and then you are going to check again pretty soon. Okay, but for now, let's create a scale down. Otherwise it's going to scale up all the time. I will put maybe two here. I think it's good, it's better. And I will also create another trigger here to scale down. Scale down when less than one connection. This is just a name and I changed here to two and I didn't change the label. But then, yeah, let's put this less than one. Then I will close my tabs and then we are going to scale down. It's important to always check your minimum and your maximum as I'm doing here, because if you keep your minimum as three, then it's going to respect these minimums and maximums. I will put connections again, just because it's easier for us to reproduce. And I will put one here and here, usually for scale down, you should use like nine minutes because you don't want to scale up, scale down, scale up, scale down. I want to scale up, 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 and then down when you, you really need to scale down. But here is just an example, then I'm going to use the same, like the last 20 seconds and then we can scale down. And here I will also put like one minute, but usually you want to scale down a little bit slower. Like you don't want to scale down too fast because you are going to queue a lot of containers and maybe your users are coming back. But that here is just a fake app, then I can do this. Okay, let me just fix this as well to two just because it's wrong. If you are, if for some reason, like your configuration is not working for you, instead of deleting that you can also delete here, maybe it's better to just disable it here and save. And then you can enable again later when you have more time to analyze what was happening. And that's just an easy way to stop this automatic process to scale up and down. But let's see if you have logs here. Okay, no logs yet. In, ne in less than a minute, we are going to have log because again, Galaxy is running this process every minute. Uh, let's see how our containers are going. Like this container never received a connection. As you can see, I'm going to close this one. I'm going to also close this one. Then pretty soon this is going to go down to zero. And let's see if you have here some news. Okay, we did this log here like by trigger and not in the in the log tabs here because it's very hard to understand what's happening if you put all the triggers together. Then here you can just analyze one specific trigger. And here, as you can see, like it's not matching because one is not below one, but pretty soon it's going to be zero. Okay, now it's zero. And then in one minute, it's going to run again and then we are going to, to see what happens. In the meanwhile, let me just show you something here. Like if you go to API, uh, I think it's US. Let me check the, the guide, then I, I can also show the guide to you. Like if you go to the guide and if you go to API and then you can get the link here, 
What I want to show you is that we also can change the triggers using the API and that's pretty cool as well. You can go to Explorer and if you look to the Query app and you see the triggers are here. Then you can change programmatically if you want your triggers if you have more complex case that's also available. And if you don't know, like Galaxy has a public API and it's pretty cool. You can do a bunch of stuff here. If there is something that is not available in the API, please open a ticket and you can add to the API as well. Then that's pretty cool. One other thing that I want to show you pretty quickly is that you have the, you have the notifications here. And one important new notifications that we have is this one here trigger add container limit error because uh, if you are a Galaxy user, you probably know that every account will have a limit and then this account, the limit is like 100 container. By default, it's usually uh, 20 containers. You can ask for more containers. That's not a problem. You can just ask us here and you're going to provide more containers for you. But it's important that you have this notification enabled then if your app is not scaling up because of this limit that you have in your account, we are going to notify you on Slack or in email, then it's very important to enable this if you are using the scale up. And also to learn more, you can always check our guide here, galax-guide.meter.com, and you have the triggers documentation already, and even this detail is explained here, like enable this notification so you receive the warnings if your account reached the limit and you can read a lot of more information here but that's that's really important that you need to know and i don't know if you realize when you are looking to our account and this number changed from two to one because galaxy is also built with meter and meter is pretty cool and everything is real time here uh, almost everything because we don't need real time everywhere but because of that you see this number change from two to one because we scale down and then you can see that's pretty fast and again that is great to save your money because if nobody's accessing your website or your app you can scale down and now here we scale down let's just make sure everything is running as we expected and then you see here that we scale down because the connection was zero and zero is below one and i think that's it uh, like I cover a lot in this video already and if you want to learn more about triggers you can check here we also have the API and we also have the notifications like these are all new features that Galaxy received in the past days and then you should you should check this out and if you're not a Galaxy user or if you're not a professional user please check these new features and if you are using essential and maybe you can save money using professional with the triggers because you can scale down every time your app is not receiving a lot of connections. Thank you for watching and keep posted in our roadmap. I'll put the link in the, in the description here because you are always updating Galaxy with new stuff. See you. Bye.